Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm taking you along for a really special Thanksgiving dinner with some of my oldest and dearest friends. We've known each other since grade school and high school, and even though life has taken us in different directions, we always make time for our annual get-together. This time, we decided to shake things up a bit and have a fancy dinner at the Manila Peninsula lobby. It's a far cry from our usual potluck at someone's house, but hey, we're adulting now, right? Now let's talk about how I'm preserving these precious memories in my journal. I'm using a Chic Sparrow Creme Brulee Traveler's Notebook and a 026 dot grid regular insert by the Traveler's Company. If you want to see how I set up this traveler's notebook, I'll add the link to that video in the description box below. Here, I have tiny photos of the food I ordered that night in our group photos. That night, we had fun snapping photos trying to capture every moment. I have a tutorial on how I printed mini photos for memory keeping. If you want to check that out, just click the link in the description box below. Aside from photos, I have ephemera here with the hotel's logo that we can use. Let's start with the page layout. Here, I'm playing with the photos and the ephemera, experimenting with their placement on the page. I don't like to rush this process, preferring to take it slow. This allows me to really connect with the memories and give me time to reflect on the event as I'm creating the layout. As an added accent, I have these beautiful tapes that I can choose from. They were gifted to me by the washi tape shop. And I'm planning to use this floral pastel color pet tape with the label Blossom Ephemera Wide Pet Tape. Let's talk a bit about pet tapes and how they differ from washi tape. Pet tape stands for polythylene tereftaline, which is a type of plastic. Unlike traditional washi tape made from paper, pet tape is more durable and water resistant. It also has a transparent quality that can add a lovely layered effect to your journaling. Even though the pet tape's material is transparent, I still like to fussy cut the design. I'll place this large floral design at the bottom of the page. Next, I'd like to give this logo a simple yet elegant border by using this classic key notepad. Since the notepad is quite large for the logo, I'll be trimming off the bottom space and reattaching the bottom border. As I add this elegant border to my page, I am reminded of the Manila Peninsula's refined atmosphere. The lobby's lights cast a warm glow creating an ambiance that felt both luxurious and welcoming.
Then I remembered that I have a Thanksgiving word sticker that I can use. Since the background material of the sticker is transparent, I'll be placing this plain gray washi underneath it to make the sticker more visible over the floral layer. As a tip, when using transparent stickers or elements, consider the background they will be placed on. Sometimes, a contrasting layer underneath can make your elements pop and add depth to your page. This technique not only improves visibility but also creates interesting layered effects. So don't be afraid to experiment with different colors and textures underneath your transparent elements to see what best complements your overall layout and enhances your journaling story. Now let's talk about the food. I couldn't resist ordering the Australian Wagyu beef burger. It was an absolute treat with perfectly cooked Wagyu beef, crispy bacon, sautéed mushrooms, and that rich creamy cheese. And of course, it came with fries. I've placed a hamburger stamp from Everyday Explorers for a cute addition to our page. So if you're not good at drawing, icon stamps are great ways to decorate your page. Here, I'm writing Angus Wagyu Burger with simple lettering over the highlighted portion with a peach brush marker. The peach color of the highlight adds a soft touch to the page. I'm not particularly skilled at lettering. As you can see here, my lines are not perfectly straight and my letter sizes are not completely consistent. But that's absolutely fine. I would like to encourage you to embrace imperfection in your journaling. Your handwriting and lettering don't need to be flawless to create a beautiful and meaningful page. In fact, those little quirks in your writing are part of what makes your journal uniquely yours. They add a character and authenticity to your pages. Remember, the goal of memory keeping is not perfection. It's capturing those moments and feelings. So don't stress if your letters are not Instagram worthy. Your future self will appreciate the genuine, heartfelt entry much more than a flawless but sterile one. If you're really unhappy with how something looks, you can always practice on a separate sheet first. But never let fear of imperfection hold you back from documenting your memories. Using a Twisby Echo Extra Fine Nib, I'm writing about that day. Joining about events like this helps me process and appreciate the experience even more. It's not just about creating a pretty page, but about reliving the moments and preserving the feelings associated with them. As we sat in the elegant lobby surrounded by these familiar faces, it really hits me how valuable these long-time friendships are. We've been through so much together, fun school events, first heartbreaks, and now navigating adult life. We've seen each other grow, change, and go through life's ups and downs. But every time we reconnect, it feels like no time has passed at all. These are the people who know all my embarrassing stories and still choose to hang out with me. They've seen me at my worst and celebrated me at my best. In a world where everything seems to be constantly changing, these friendships are my anchor. You see, it's not just about the fancy food or the elegant setting. It's about the laughter we share, the inside jokes that never get old, and the comfort of being with people who truly know you. So here's to old friends, new traditions, and the beauty of growing older together. Whether we're sharing a homemade casserole or splurging on a fancy dinner, what matters most is that we're together. If you have friends like that, I encourage you to take the time to celebrate those connections. They are precious and worth every moment. 
I've always believed in the importance of memory keeping. Journaling and scrapbooking are ways for me to preserve these meaningful moments. We don't just make memories. We keep them, we cherish them, and we carry them forward. Thanks so much for joining me in this journaling session. Now I'd like to know, do you have longtime friends you still keep in touch with? How do you celebrate your friendship? I'd love to hear your stories in the comments below. And if you're interested in more memory keeping inspiration, don't forget to check out my Traveler's Notebook and Memory Keeping playlists, where I share how I document other special moments and travel adventures. Until next time, happy journaling! Thank you.